What's up, guys? I just got done writing a devotional entitled Broken. You guys know that feeling when you feel broken? Maybe it's after a breakup or where you, you feel broken hearted, or maybe it's a loss of a loved one and, and you feel broken. Maybe it's uh, after you've done something wrong, you've done something stupid, and you just feel remorse. You feel broken inside because of the guilt that you have from doing what you had just done or got caught doing. In this devotional, we want to talk about that feeling when we've done something wrong and we're feeling simply broken. Now, there, there are some people that feel broken, but they don't really have a change of heart. They're just guilty that they got caught. You know, you know what I mean? Like those people that, you know, cheat on a test, uh, they get detention for it, or they get, you know, suspended, whatever the case would be, and all of a sudden they, they're crying, they're, you know, they're, they're torn apart in, in, in their homes, but then they go back and they start cheating on tests again. They, there was never any change of heart. What we want to look at is what true brokenness is, and I think King David, uh, the one of the greatest kings in Israel's history, uh, he has this time where he is just completely broken, and he uses this word contrite over his sin. I see King David sees this. He's King David's out on, in his palace, and he sees this lady in a distance who's really uh, attractive looking, and so her name is Bathsheba. So David calls her into his uh, into his palace. He sleeps with her, and to make ma make matters worse, she's a married woman, and he goes about uh, killing her husband. David is then a few months later confronted with his sin, and then he pens the words that we find in Psalm fifty one, where where we look at a passage where he where David is saying, "Lord, you you don't just want to sacrifice for my sin. You don't want me to know that I sin and, and, and slaughter an animal to atone for my sin, to make my sin right in your eyes. No, that's not just what you want. Lord, what you want is a broken and contrite spirit, a broken and contrite heart. Father, you want me to know and to own my wrong and to then, in, in, what, what is communicated by that brokenness and that contrite spirit is that I'm going to change my ways. I'm going to do things differently from here on out. Father, not only did I sin against Bathsheba and her, ultimately her husband, but Father, I sinned against you and you alone. Lord, I, I wronged you in wronging others. And so David has this attitude, knows this spirit, and, and far too often, I, I'll have to admit, I, I've been broken over sins that I've committed, and, and more so than I would ever want to admit. Guys, my encouragement to you guys, if you're in a, if you've done something in your past where you've wronged someone or you've just you've greatly sinned what was your attitude behind it were you broken and contrite to the point where you wanted to do things differently from then on out or were you just sad you got caught guilty that you got caught and you you did your time but you never really wanted to change what's your attitude before god will you seek his forgiveness and guess what God gives forgiveness. It's an awesome, beautiful thing. David goes down. What's written about him, even despite the fact that he is, uh, he's done some pretty atrocious things, it's still said about him that he's a man after God's own heart. God is all about second ch ch chances, all about forgiveness. Guys, seek him out. When you, when you do something wrong, own it, but then change your ways. You know what Jesus says to the lady at the well? Hey, you just got caught in, in having an affair, being an adulterer. Listen, go and sin no more. Change your ways. So that's my encouragement to you guys. Think about what it means to be broken in this fancy, dancy word, uh, contrite. Uh, think about that and think about how we should have that attitude uh, when we've been wronged. Or no, I'm sorry, not when we've been wronged, but when we wrong somebody and how we ultimately sin against our God. Thanks for listening. Peace. Hit me up if you need anything.